Now, last night was a entertainment juggernaut as Fish, the hippie band that just can't quite get to Grateful Dead standards, <laughs> but still ruin people's lives with their jangly uh, garbage mess of what they call music and their stupid uh, <laughs> entitled fans. Uh, played the uh, Fenway Park. Yes, they did. And boy, was it a scene. It's funny, every time I think of a fish show, I can physically taste pot. <laughs> it's the strongest pot, obviously. I mean, this is my first jam band show I've ever been to. So Good for you. <laughs> first, and it won't be the last, because I will now, after last night, go to every fish show. Not for the reasons because I like to trip balls and flip glow sticks, but because it's the greatest people watching I've ever seen. Ever. Dude, wait until I take you to a panic show, man. <laughs> then you'll really get it. Man, I got down to Fenway around 5 o'clock, and it was a little bit of a threat of a rain, and it, it would rain a little bit and scare the hippies away, and then they would all come back out. But I knew I was in for something when one of the very first things that I saw once I got around Fenway Park was a dude wearing an Uncle Sam hat who was tripping balls so much that he couldn't stand up and ran into the middle of the road and fell right in front of a car. <laughs> when he tried to get up, now, he's not, like, drunk because his eyes are wide open with this crazy stare and his arms are flailing around. When he tried to get up, he put his head up and couldn't quite make it all the way, and his head slammed back onto the pavement, and his head started bleeding. Good. <laughs> That's, that, you know what that is? That's his head saying, wise up. What he are was you doing here? Balls. The fish is so bad that his brain was telling him. You know, people sometimes take hallucinogens to find enlightenment. His brain said, get me out of here. All his brain was trying to free himself from his skull. All around him were cops and chicks with hula hoops. Oh, God. <laughs> what a thing to wake up from. You know yeah. what? You want to know what it's like in a fish show? It's, oh. it's watch Woodstock. Watch 1968's Woodstock, the movie, because there is nothing lamer than emulating your parents' generation. It is the lamest thing. I got his Uncle Sam hat on, just like Abby Hoffman. Hey! Now, if you uh, are at a computer... Go to WBCN.com, and on the Touch and Rich page, there are pictures from the Fish Show. We will discuss them in just a moment. But first, before I, I went into the concert, and I did go into the concert, I uh, wanted to talk to a few people beforehand. This is a gentleman that was hanging out right near Kenmore Square, where a whole lot of partying and dancing in the streets were going on. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to this young gentleman, shall we? Hi, I'm with CBS Radio. We're talking to Fish fans about what's going on here at the show. How about if we talk to you on the radio? All right. Cool. What's, what's your name? My name, genre. Genre? Genre. So genre. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me in the face. <laughs> genre. Yeah. Genre. Genre? Genre. So genre, tell me how you're feeling about the Big Fish reunion. I think it's far out, man. I saw Trey outside. He looks great. He looks clean. He, 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 he's, uh, he's not using. I mean, I think it's going to sound fabulous. I'm actually going in right now, brother. But peace and love, man. Now, now you know Fenway's that way. Peace and love. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> By the way, he's walking the wrong way. Right, because he probably has... He, yeah, he's walking back. He's trying to find uh, the Lyndon Johnson rally. <laughs> he's walking towards back there. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, Trey outside, he looks clean. <laughs> My name? Genre. He's sticking around with his guitar, he's gonna be A plus, man. <laughs> when he was on smack, he was only at a B level. <laughs> Look for ultra long jams tonight. Brother, but peace and love, man. Now, now, you know Fenway's that way. Yeah, I know. What did it take for you to get a ticket to the show? Oh, I had mine. I ordered it online. Do you smell something, by chance? No. Peace and love. So, do you think that it's a message to all fish fans that they it's chose love, Boston? Man. It's love. It's just love. It's they're from they're from Burlington, so they picked the closest big city. Oh God, what is that smell? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's you. Oh God, you smell awful. I gotta go, man. Why do you smell bad? I got some soap here. Here, you want to <laughs> take it? Bro, come on, man. That's an invasion of my space. You guys want some soap? <laughs> Hey, it's an invasion of my space, man. My name? John Rock. If you want to get in this space, man, you better have some at least bubbles that you're blowing. 
It's like garlic to a vampire. Peace and love. What's that soap? Get it out of my face, man. That's the devil, man. I read it online. Really? Because 364 days a year, I'm a corporate lawyer. But then I go out here and pretend that it's 1968. This is, this next guy is a dude who is sitting on the stairs over at Fenway, eating a Dunkin' Donut with his arms just back. He's had a, he's had a rough morning, all right? He's pretty laid back, and he's wearing something around his neck. Am I going to the radio? Yeah. All right, what's your name? My name is Jason. All right, Jason, so many people thought this was never going to happen, a big fish reunion. What do you think about it? I think it's great. Now, uh, I enjoy, is, are those the kids that always hit the, the garbage cans, or is that some kind of drum circle? That's no, no, the there's, there, there were two, there was the drum circle. Yeah. <laughs> drum circle. <laughs> Peace and love. Never far from a tambourine playing in the background. <laughs> Do they have their Exeter boarding school stickers on their, in their uh, Vassar College? Uh, man, we're such hippies, our college is only 60 grand a year. I tried really hard in school. I'm very <laughs> counterculture. Dad's letting me get this out of the system before I started the firm. Now, uh, so what does Fish's music mean to you? Everything. Everything. Now, you I, I take it you like the, the nice mellow vibe that they put out there for the masses? I think they write music that um, anyone can relate to, and it means something different to everyone. Mm -hmm. Now, I see that you've got glow sticks around your neck. I do have glow sticks around my neck. And, and what does that do, like, uh, at a fish show? How, how does that help the experience? Well, I'm hoping they play Harry Hood tonight, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take this necklace off and maybe throw some glow sticks around. That'll be kind of a nice, cool, mellow vibe. It's a, a great visual experience. What's your favorite moment at a, at a fish show? Like, the nice, mellow vibe. What's your favorite moment? This, the anticipation... And going in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to screw up your mellow. Sorry no, about that. It's all good. My mellow break. is still good. <laughs> still good. Okay. Have a good time. Have fun with the glow sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask my mellow, man. You want to see what that guy looks like? I'll show you. Quite a visual. There man. he is. Oh yeah, he's on the floor. He's on the ground. <laughs> Wait, that guy that you just talked to ended up on the ground. Yep, I saw him as I was leaving. Now, was he expressing himself in an artistic way, or did he just fall down? No, he fell down. That's him falling down, rolling around on the uh, Toucher and Rich page at WBCN.com. <laughs> did he bring his lacrosse stick with him? Uh, no, he did not. Um, and by the way, before we go to commercial, I, I at this point walk into the parking lot across the street from Fenway. And where I'm greeted by this. A bunch of guys in trucks blowing up nitrous balloons, giving them to old dudes. <laughs> and then I meet two characters, which we'll hear next. Yeah, I, they stole all the nitrous <laughs> from their dad's dentistry practice, <laughs> where they intern in the summer. Dad, is it cool if I take a couple tanks? Peace and love. My name, John Rock. Hey. WBC on 1041, The Rock of Boston. We're touch here in Rich. 617 You can instant feedback at going to WBCN.com. Last night, Fish. Coming to uh, Fenway Park. They're kicking off their... What, what is the term that they used? Uh... I don't know. The re it's not, not, it's not a re it's not a re uh, Oh a re revival man. Stinkapalooza. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Crash, you were asking me in the commercial break what this was a picture of. That is a gentleman having a full on conversation with a brick wall. Yes indeed. <laughs> that that was during the show. And that's like some college kid. Yep. Too. I was inside and I just I had to I was gonna make a phone call. So I went over towards where the gate was and I look over to my right, and there's this like kid with a baseball hat, like college kid, who has his fingers, and he's lightly touching the, the brick wall, and he's going like this. He's, he's pressing his face up to him, like... And he pushes himself back, <laughs> and then goes right back to the wall. <laughs> this went on for about five minutes. So, yeah, it's him. So you see a guy in front of a wall? He's talking to it. And then there's this dude 
who just is Captain Awesome because <laughs> that dude's feeling the vibe and ballet dancing in the hot dog line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just think that these people just want to do every kind of behavior that would get your ass kicked in any other situation. And then you got the dude who straight up showed up dressed like Jesus. He's got like a white robe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, do you guys, like, when you're at home, is there like social convention keeping you from frolicking about, like, to music? Like, I don't go home and whenever no one's looking, close all the blinds and ballet dance to my favorite songs. Why do these people want to do that? <laughs> It's uh, just so dude, stupid. Dude, you, you don't get it. You don't get it, man. You're not feeling the vibe. So I go to the parking lot, and I, all around, there's grown men huffing balloons. There's, you know, beer everywhere. It smells like the strongest pot you've ever smelled in your life. And I meet up with this gentleman. You want to talk on the radio? Talk on the radio. Well, what's your name? My name's Grasshopper. Grasshopper? Yeah. Now, Grasshopper, tell me what fish playing at Fenway means to you. Fish playing at Fenway. I'm just glad Fish is playing again. Like, cause I always seem like in the 90s, stuff like that. But Fish playing again, especially at Fenway, which is really nice, you know, place. Has a lot of history. This means a lot to me for just a number of reasons. I like to see these guys play. I love the energy, especially with the good energy at Fenway Park. going to help put it. Yeah, the good energy at Fenway Park. Yeah, man. I like, I like things that are really exciting, like... Four-hour guitar solos. Jeremiah was a bullfrog stretched to a 20-minute mark. My name's Grasshopper. <laughs> My name's Grasshopper. I go bouncing all around. Let's play. I love the energy, especially with the good energy. The Fenway Park's going to help put in with it. I'm just going to be an excellent show. Now, uh, how many times have you seen Fish in Concert? Like 50 or 60 probably. Really? 50 yeah. or 60? That's a lot of shows. I was seeing them when they were like, like some playing little clubs. Like before, before everyone else got into Yeah. Them. Like I said, 93, I did, I did out west with them and done quite a bit all over the country. Now, you, what you did is, <laughs> you took your dad's money and you and your boarding school crew took a summer and went out west and went and paid for concerts. You and Fish did nothing. See, Fish stood on stage dicked with their instruments for two and a half hours and took your money mm. and then went and bought like probably nice houses and boats and fancy cars by the way fish the only concert i've ever been to where there was an intermission oh sure <laughs> you just get tired man the fingers uh... yeah they probably have to go back and retreat to their library where they like <laughs> sip on cognac and, and light <laughs> cigars with your hundred dollar bills man fish is just like me in the fact that they're as rich as my dad is now we went on a West Coast tour. No, you paid money, which then they took and bought goods and services with. <laughs> we, we, like it's this like utopian society. No, see, your money <laughs> that you waste on these shows goes and makes them extremely wealthy. And Trey Anastasio will take that and sometimes actually buy heroin, which he'll <laughs> inject in his veins. And then get up all dope sick on stage and you still have to pay. Because he had a heroin problem, I'm yes, not he, mistaken. That's what I've heard. Or what I, what, well, obviously, the gentleman, one of the gentlemen had seen him outside, and he looked clean. Yeah. And I can only imagine, because of the God creating that rainbow right before the show, <laughs> that that is indeed what's going on. Green stuff, so. Wait, now, what is that in your hands right there? It's just slinky. Just yeah, it's, play toy. It's, it's a slinky? Yeah. Just call it slinky. And why do you have a slinky? I need some more. Actually, I just brought it with me for a toy. Just something to play with while I was out. Yeah, because I'm so childlike. <laughs> hey, man, you're all hung I'm up just, on being an adult. Well, I'm talking to him just without even thinking. Like, someone would take out a pack of cigarettes. He just takes out a slinky and starts playing with yeah, it. Yeah, he was taking out a slinky, and he's like, look at how out of the ordinary I am. <laughs>